Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jose. Today we're going to talk about RA10627, otherwise known as the anti boeing Act of 2013. Tell you a little story. Back when I was in high school, classmates used to call me tertiary because I was the small guy, maybe the smallest guy in the classroom. Didn't have you know, big eyes back then, so we can't get him to stop, and I really don't like it. That right there, an example of bullying. So what is bullying? Bullying is any unwanted physical contact between the bully and the victim. And in a few examples, it could be uh, punching. Second rate. Trying hard. Copycat. Catch. Shouting. Ano? Ibaba mo ayon. Ang hindi naman. Even take off. Ba? Bullying can also be any act that could cause damage to a person's emotional well-being, like teasing someone about the way they're dressed, their gender orientation, their physical orientation, and it's also not limited to just verbally saying it to another person. It could also be, you know, in the form of writing, maybe in the, in the board, or a you know, piece of paper, or on the wall, and then it can also be done electronically through the use of social media, like Facebook or, or Twitter. So in that form, that is called cyberbullying. So now we have an idea about what bullying is about. Now the next thing that we need to discuss is what are the obligations of the educational institution like elementary schools and high schools under the Anti-Bullying Act of 2013. First of all, educational institutions should prohibit bullying inside their campus and places next to their campus. So it could be any place from, you know, classrooms to cafeteria to the quadrangle or restroom. It should also be prohibited in, in places. It should also be prohibited in places like um, Sari Sari store, computer cafes next to their school, and so on. Bullying should also be prohibited in school organized events. Examples of these are, are field trips. Um, retreats, film showing, you know, and many more. Bullying can happen outside the jurisdiction of the school, so it could be outside of campus or in social media, but if it somehow affects the student's well-being inside the school, then the educational institution should still take action. Schools should also prohibit retaliation, of course, to the victim or to a witness or anyone with reliable information regarding bullying. They should identify the range of disciplinary action, such as sanctions and penalties due to bullying, retaliation, and if someone is ever caught making false accusations of bullying. The educational institution should also enable students to anonymously report bullying. The educational institution should also educate the students, the parents or guardians about the policies of bullying they should provide a copy of those policies. So it could be a separate copy, it could be included in the student's handbook, it could be in a school's website or social media page. The school should also maintain a public record about information and statistics about bullying, but these information should be kept confidential. So this means that nobody should know about it except, you know, the perpetrator, the victim, the parents of those two parties the teachers directly involved, and the administration like the school principal. Okay, so we've covered the Anti-Bullying Act. If you like this video on YouTube, or if you would like to comment, you can comment on the YouTube page, or you can write the comment below. So, I want to 
uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope it didn't bore you too much. I'm looking forward to watching your videos, guys. Thanks.